in this election one uh, clear thing happened is uh, regarding exit polls so exit polls uh, got exposed in a way exit polls are not needed in the election because once the election is over another 2 to 3 days anyway results will be coming there is no use of any exit poll pre poll survey is needed because pre poll survey bring out many people's issues what are the, what, what are the people thinking and all those things but this time uh, exit polls got exposed but one thing happened there as we observed because exit polls uh, showed huge number of seats to bjp and nda yesterday share market uh, points went uh, up by around 2500 points but today it was down by more than 4000 points in this process it seems that big players have not lost that much of money whereas small media middle class uh, investors medium class low, uh, lower in low uh, that is the small investors lost a huge amount of money it seems so some people are telling that it may be a conspiracy by it may be planned thing by big players who are in the share market something like that so any light on that i think uh, first thing i want to call is that share market is often thought to be a very completely free market but a free market is a place where information is available to everyone it's very very clear it's not even the potential of buying and selling the information lies with some people and does not lie even if it was all things were normal i'm not even saying somebody sabotaging somebody's taking information selling it even in a normal course a person who has more money who has access to information who has access to deals does much better that's why small and very very small people are vir virtually a victim of sometimes the crashes and this is a first thing to say about it. I'm not saying that share market should not exist. It's a bad thing or good thing. It's a good place to raise funds. And as a person who has worked in bank, we have raised funds too. And I have also participated in it, right? That's first part. The second part is in India. Uh, I, I do think that over a period of time, there are more doubts about this market. It is true even about the markets abroad. But in the last 10 years, my doubt has increased a lot. I will give one example. Very recently, Paytm share prices went down. It was my natural reaction, and I mentioned to my friends that between the two A's, one of the A's will buy. All that I was wrong is I chose the wrong A, and there is a different A who is likely to buy Paytm. And it's bit very strange, and the market says that it is because they want to enter into financial world. In such a scenario where we have seen the airports being given to Adani without any due diligence, without any expertise, how do I trust this market where deals are even more less transparent? It's not even an information problem now. It looks like information is now cartel and kept with some people. In that scenario, I wouldn't be surprised. I do not have information about it. I wouldn't be surprised uh, that there has been some hand holding towards this. It's worth investigation. SEBI should investigate. And this can be a warning to players, especially private players, because nowadays even Instagram and, you know, telegrams advises you where to invest in if modi comes please invest in this 10 stocks if nda comes to uh, sell these stocks these types of things always happen and there is any way a narrative that we bjp does not win the things will crash so it becomes like a self-fulfilling prophecy so i think there is worth the investigation given this 10 years have not been very great especially the sort of funding we saw from adani which gets rerouted the loans get transformed into invoices invoices get investments as fdi it is a artificially inflated artificially inflated and on the basis of inflated uh, prices of the share they got uh, loans, loans from sbi yes, exactly yes. it has been a vicious cycle totally share market itself is a complex one on the top of it adding a crony capitalism to it and to benefit a few people i wouldn't be surprised i can't pinpoint but i i would say i i am as it's i would say usually Sherlock Holmes terms that it's elementary something is wrong here i would i would i would really think sebi which has not stepped up its game at all especially with adani steps steps up and protects the small investors and i would want the investors also to think through how this can go on and on and how they can fall prey and trap to this sort of a sort of a mind game it's just a mind game you played that you it went up and it's gone down right and some somebody has to step in and do the investigation for sure mattashtu vishesha video galannu nodalu mattu hosa video gala bagge tiliyalu idina.com youtube channel subscribe maadi mattu bell icon click maadi